What is up, 10 Skill Squad? We are back here at the racetrack, and recently, Losi just announced their brand new six scale Super Baja Ray 8S Beast. Now, you may know that I actually race a Losi here at this racetrack, and that new Baja Ray looks insane. But it comes at a price $900 to be exact. So let's say you only had $100 to spend. Can you get a solid rear axle, independent front suspension short course truck that you can actually bring to a racetrack and go racing with? Let's find out. Dang. So here we have the Few FY01. Few? I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Few. Yeah, Few. Let's go with that. So this is a 12th scale short course truck. Battery, charger, transmitter, everything all included. And it's got this pretty cool body on it. I actually really like the look of this. It comes in red and blue, and I opted for the blue one. We've got a solid rear axle and an independent front suspension. And check it out, it's got cantilever suspension. So rather than the shocks mounted up here, they're actually mounted uh, horizontal inside the chassis. Pretty clever. Now, per usual, these shocks don't have any oil in them. And I don't know if there's an O-ring in here to actually make these shocks hold oil or not. Someone commented on a recent video and they said, why don't you use grease in the shocks instead of oil since they won't hold oil? And that's actually a clever idea. I'm not sure if it would work. So if you think it will, let me know. So here we have our 550 brushed motor and it's got a heat sink on it. That's nice. Here is our 2.4 gigahertz receiver ESC combo. And it looks like there's actually a spot here where we could plug in some lights. There are not light buckets in the front here. So, you know, if you wanted to put some LEDs in there, that'd be pretty cool. And it uses this five wire servo. And so usually with systems like this, if you wanna upgrade just one of the components, you're gonna to have to upgrade the rest of the electrical components as well. Not great, but you know, this will at least get you going. So the tires actually feel pretty nice. Uh, there's definitely some foam in there. They feel pretty grippy. I'm anxious to see what they do on this uh, loose dirt. Now guys, check out this transmitter. This transmitter is pretty interesting. As you can see, we do have a lot of adjustment we have not only steering trim, but steering dual rate as well. That's nice to see. And here we have uh, the throttle adjustment, so you can change the actual uh, rate of the throttle here. So it's a pretty cheap construction, but this has a secret weapon. Bam, on the other side, look. You can, uh, if you're left-handed, you can use this in left-handed mode as well. Now you might be wondering what this is about. If we look close here, we can see that it actually has two speed modes, a high speed model and a children's model. So this is basically just a speed limiter. So like a Dodge Hellcat, you have to have a special key to unleash all the power. And this is kind of the same. So in the bag of goodies, look, we've got a key right here that fits into the back of the transmitter where we can actually change it from slow speed to fast speed. And look at this, we've also got some decent tools and we've got different gearing here as well. So that's usually something you only see with like, uh, you know, name brand stuff, optional gearing in the package. Pretty neat. And Banggood has a lot of parts if you need to repair this thing. And there's also some other websites out there that sell parts for these things and WL toys and things like that. I'll put a link in the description. But that's enough talking. I just put the body shell back on there. I'm gonna put the clips in it and we're gonna take this thing out and run it around the track and see how it does out there. And if you guys are sold already, I'm gonna put a link to where you can buy this down in the description. And if you use that link, it's gonna help out the channel. So if you're interested in buying one, I'd appreciate it if you'd use my affiliate link because that's awesome. So we're gonna ease into the throttle, easy on the power, otherwise it'll just spin. We're going to go nice and soft into turn number one here. 
then feed in the power. There's full throttle over the jump, landing nicely. We're gonna miss the ditch on the inside turn here. Spin it around, then up to full throttle, over the jump, landing smooth. Kind of give it a flick around the next turn there. Now we're opening it up, full throttle, and we're going wide, we're going wide, we're going wide. And swing it around, boom, down the jump and across the line, yeah! <laughs> So not the fastest thing around this track, but uh, believe it or not, also not the slowest thing around this track. There's been some name brand brushed buggies and trucks that have uh, gone slower around this track for sure. And Victory Donuts because, hey, when you're not racing anybody, you always get first place, holler. Check this out, this body looks like it has just been through the ringer, but it's got this protective film on it. So when you're done bashing, you can just peel the plastic right off. And boom, it's like a brand new body again. Pretty sweet. So now it's time to sum up the FY01 with, you guessed it, a 10th skill score. First is speed. The FY01 is quick, not fast, but comes with the optional high speed gearing. But this is a test of how fast it is, not how fast it could be. And with a top speed of just under 30, it gets a three out of 10. The transmitter feels pretty cheap, but it does have many useful features that are somewhat uncommon on an RTR transmitter at this price point. But the left-handed control will only be useful to some and the low speed lock feels a bit gimmicky. If you lose the keys while it's in child mode or your friends want to play a cruel trick on you, it might actually do more harm than good. The cheap construction is holding back the score a bit, but it's better than most and it gets a 5 out of 10. Value is very reasonable. A solid rear, independent front chassis is getting more and more popular these days. And getting into one that comes with your basic tools, gearing options, and a battery and charger for about 100 bucks is, in my opinion, still great value. It will require some upgrades to make it a solid rig, but it gets a 7 out of 10. I gave this thing an absolute beating and ran four battery packs through it with zero issues. Some components feel a bit cheap and the non-oil filled shocks got less and less forgiving as the chassis loaded up with dirt. Still, nothing failed, and with some light tuning or modification, it should clear up any shortcomings. It gets a 6 out of 10. Parts availability isn't great, though there are lots of different companies that make this chassis. Still, parts will require a little bit of effort to locate. And with lots of distributors being overseas, you're potentially in for a long wait if you need spares. Overall, not the worst. Still not the worst for off-brand parts, and it gets a 4 out of 10. Fun factor is high. Off-road bashing and racing that doesn't break the bank is appealing to everyone. I'm even considering getting a few more 12 scale short course trucks for their own class at the racetrack. So far, everyone that has driven this truck has had a smile on their face, and that's what this hobby is all about. It earns a 7 out of 10. Finally, looks. This isn't the prettiest short course truck out there, but with the solid rear independent front setup, it definitely looks cool and gets some scale points. You can get creative with bodies and stickers and make this thing pretty cool. Still, it's a score based on what it is and not what it could be, so it gets an average score of 5 out of 10. Added up and the 10th scale score is 37 out of 70.
All right, guys, what do you think? I really like this thing. Uh, I'm definitely gonna see if I can get that suspension sorted out, bring it back here, and maybe even race it against a real 10th scale short course track and see how it does. Anyway, if you want to pick up your own FY01, I'm gonna put a link in the description. These things are about a hundred bucks, guys, for a solid rear axle, independent front suspension, short course track that doesn't break the bank. Definitely might want to think about it. And if this is your first time checking out the channel, welcome. I'm glad you found it. I like to do RC shenanigans like this all the time, and I've got some cool stuff coming up, so you're gonna to want to stick around. All right, guys, until next time, a dog eating me. <laughs> Peace.